What's going on, everybody? Hey, thank you everybody who was able to come into overtime last night. I appreciate it. I know we went a while, three and a half hours. I do apologize for a couple individuals that did come in there just couldn't really, I guess you could say, behave. Maybe they were drunk. I have no idea. Trolls, trolling, I, I have no idea. But I do apologize for it because I try to give everybody a chance to do their venting and try to stay somewhat professional in a way with it, but it just got a little bit out of chaos, so we had to get rid of them. But today's video... We're going to do a GMG reveal I just got back in, uh, I think it was yesterday. A couple of things I purchased and a break came in. Tomorrow's video is going to talk about PSA's June grading. And it's going to bring together the light of the 10,000 club um, for the PSA 10s. And by the way, that's me clapping so everybody knows. LeBron James just made it. We now got 11. He's over 10,000. I'll talk about that in another video as well. Um, I'm going to try to keep that updated a little bit, that little, uh, thing with, uh, PSA 10s and, you know, being overpopulated with them, especially with where the hobby's going currently right now, or you call it the market. If you're a collector, you're going to call it hobby. If you're a flipper, you're going to call it the market. So <clears throat> let's get into some stuff here. So I did get into a no ore break. Had the pistons. Picked up Seku Dumboya. This is out of Ert. There we go. Let me get focus there. Out of 99. The last one just sold under 20 bucks. This will go in the store, guys, because um, it's just a $20 card I want to do with an auction on to it. Oh, I forgot there was this too. Uh, Saban Lee jersey out of 99 as well, too. Jumbo material. Then I did hit it once, uh, Sadiq Bay. This is the silver screen debut out of 99, silver. Pretty cool. I'll probably put that in the store. I just got recased it. Somebody put painter's tape onto this stuff, and it kind of made the cases look a little cr crummy on top. All right, pick this up. Stained glass, 2016 Tom Brady. This is the uh, collegiate, and I believe this was the first year that they did the stained glasses. I picked this up for 160. They're selling around raw. I've been seeing around 100 bucks. They might be, you know, some might have sold 75, maybe something went over 100. But a PSA 10 on this, there's only a pop 16 of it. So I really like the stained glasses. I in 2018, I actually hit the Tom Brady stained glass and like a dum dum, I didn't grade it and keep it. I sold it. So this will be the next best thing that I picked up on to it. This might be Brady's last year, so, and if he wins another Super Bowl, stuff's just going to go up. I think this is probably, you know, three, $400 easy. I could be wrong, but something I'm going to hold on to for a little bit since the pop level is low. And a lot of people back in uh, this time frame, the stained glasses, they didn't keep them. And if they did, it's not going to be great grades. All right, let me scooch over here. So some GMG stuff come in. You guys all know Gem Mint grading. First up, Chase Claypool, select rookie, club level. This is the club level. Came back a 9. Uh, nothing on, on the grades below a 9, so not bad. This will go in a store, in case anybody's interested. I don't know the pricing on to it yet, but sometime, maybe before this video even airs out today, this should already be in the store. It's not much for me to put in. Kyler Murray, select from 2020. This is the concourse level purple prism. It is numbered 43 out of 75. That's one thing I like about them and um, SGC. They put the serial numbers up here, so I don't have to flip stuff around. Only thing got 9.5 was the surface onto it. A lot of Kyler Murray fans out there um, probably be interested in that, especially with some hope in the season. Really good card. Up next, I, oh, actually, the Murray and this was actually on a Facebook post, too, uh, for GMG. Nick Madrigal, we pulled this out of uh, that one box of finest. I don't even know if I aired the box of finest that I opened and bought. Not even sure now that I think about it. But well, anyhow, this is the Aqua version. Got 10 on it. Really nice looking. I like the color match with this and this down here. It kind of makes it stand out pretty good. Oh, the numbers. Oh, the numbers higher than up there. That's right. But it's out of 175. Out of 175. All 
already. Two cards left. I think there's only a five card order of GMG. Sabato, Bowman Chrome first, tend across the whole. Oh, no, it didn't cross the whole board. 9 5 up there. My bad. 9 5 on two corners. So the Chromes were a little bit harder to hit this year. So, wanted to give it a shot, see what would happen with it. So, 9 5 on to it. Because I got some Jord Blaze Jordans and Austin Martins on to it. Last up, Braves, Max Fried. This was the um, the black version out of 69 that I pulled a while back. And one of the corners was, yeah, I think it's this one down here. A little bit of white on it. Oh, up here. It's up here. It did get a 9 because the corner's on to it. And I knew going anywhere else, at least I might have had a chance to get a 9-5 with uh, one of the companies that do the .5 grading scale with the 9, 9-5s. Nine so I gave it a shot. It came back really good. Edges 10, surface 9-5, centering 10. So, I know it's a pitcher, but somebody's a Braves fan out there. It'll be in the store. I'll figure out some pricing on all this stuff. Um, GMG's still really new with pricing, so it's I have to really do a little bit more research into it to try to find something I fair, feel is fair and accurate onto the cards. So, hopefully I'm doing a pretty good job onto it. I don't know. I know some people buy the stuff when it hits the store and that, so... Hopefully the pricing is good. I'm taking it most of it is offhand. But that's pretty much it. Quick mail day. Uh, not much going on. Don't forget, Saturday is going to be the auction slash fixed price sale. I will have wax boxes available. Museum, Gypsy Queen, and Archives, Signature Series, Retired Players. I have an idea on pricing, but I don't want to quote it because anything can change. Trust me, well, my museum was already ordered. Museum is probably going to be two ninety five a box. I'm thinking right now. I just got to do the math up to make sure everything uh, lines up onto it. Um, if anybody's interested in selling on it, hit me up. The email is always in the description. So if you bought from me, or I bought from you, or you bought from Joey, or he's bought from you, something like that, there, hit us up or hit me up. That way, if you want to come on and do like an hour, try to, you know. Do some sales or try your start try auction. You're more than welcome to. I'd like to start making this like a monthly thing on s Saturday, to where people that can't go to card shows, and, you know, they're like an hour, two, three hours away, and they would have an opportunity to at least come on to something like this and be able to, you know, pick up some inventory or something like that there. I know Dale hit me up about the trade night. We're looking at doing that in September, starting it. <clears throat> It'll be on Zoom, and I think we might end up doing it on Zoom for all of us, but I'll have it playing on YouTube where a lot of people can watch, you know, maybe some of the wheeling and dealing going on onto it, which I think will be pretty cool offhand. But that's really about it for everything. I know we covered a lot on overtime last night. Wow, did we cover a lot on overtime last night? But I do appreciate everybody's support to the channel, coming in live streams whenever. I know it's late for everybody, uh, Eastern and Central times with that stuff going as late as it does. But the idea was to try to keep uh, a lot of the younger crowd out in case the chit-chat gets a little rough in there. I don't want people, you know, getting upset that their kid heard me say, like, you know, a cuss word or something that comes out of my mouth. But... That's right about it, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. The Like I said, everything but the Brady stained glass will be in the store sometime. Hopefully today. It should be in there today. Um, auction next week. Yeah, that's pretty much it. i got a show the following week, so we're going to be missing probably the next two weeks of overtime, and then we'll be back the following week. Just because I don't want to run an overtime and then have to do the auction slash fix thing uh, sale for the next day. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys are heading to one of the big card shows today, either in a, uh, was it the Lexington show or something like that? Hope you guys find some good stuff down there. The one year I went like two years ago just wasn't that great. But that's it, everybody. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.